it's a brand new year, and that means more Magic the Gathering. From standard to supplemental sets, and a few extras thrown in here and there, there's a crazy number of Magic the Gathering cards coming out this year. In fact, there's a set coming out this week. Dominaria Remastered releases on January 13th, with no official pre-release events. This set is made from reprints from sets taking place on the popular plane of Dominaria. If you're looking for nostalgia, this set has oodles of it, as well as high-value reprints of cards like Force of Will, Vampiric Tutor, and Sylvan Library. This set doesn't affect the legality of cards in any format except Popper, which includes the cards whose rarity has been downshifted to common. Dominaria Remastered won't be released in Magic the Gathering Arena, making it a paper-only set. Soon after Dominaria Remastered is Phyrexia All Will Be One, which is releasing on February 3rd in paper and February 7th for digital platforms, meaning Magic Arena and Magic Online. This is the first standard set releasing in 2023, and it's already had a few major spoilers and some leaks before the new year. Phyrexia All Will Be One continues the current magic storyline of the Phyrexians' attack on the magic multiverse. Between standard sets, there will be a digital-only set released featuring curated reprints from Shadows over Innistrad block in Magic the Gathering Arena. This set introduces cards into Explorer and the Historic format and has no impact on paper magic. Following that, March of the Machine and March of the Machine Aftermath will be coming to Standard in April and May respectively. March of the Machine is a full Standard set that continues into the current storyline and appears to involve various planes of Magic the Gathering coming together to fight against the Phyrexian invasion. The current story arc is slated to conclude with Aftermath, a smaller set which wraps up the loose ends with a new booster format called Epilogue Boosters. This set isn't meant to be draftable on its own, but will be standard legal and will be available in both paper and online. The second major supplemental set of the year is Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-Earth. This is a Universes Beyond set, meaning it takes place outside of the Magic the Gathering multiverse. The cards in this set will feature scenes, characters, creatures, and settings from the Lord of the Rings universe, so you should expect to see Frodo and the rest of the Fellowship in action. Tales of Middle-Earth will be released into Paper Magic as a modern legal set and into Magic the Gathering Arena as an alchemy legal set, meaning it will be legal in Historic and Historic Brawl as well. Unlike Battle for Baldur's Gate, this set is expected to be the same on paper and in digital formats. There's a chance that Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-Earth releases before March of the Machines, as official release dates haven't been announced. Coming up in the fall of 2023 is Wilds of Eldraine, a return to the plane first visited in Thrones of Eldraine. Just as the first set on Eldraine focused on the castles and their knights, Wilds of Eldraine is expected to have cards with a focus on Fae and the mysterious fairy tale creatures of the plane. This set will be standard legal and should be the set marking rotation, which is when Innistrad Midnight Hunt, Innistrad Crimson Vow, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, and Streets of New Capena are leaving standard. The final set of 2023 is Lost Caverns of Ixalan. This set takes place on Ixalan, which is known for its merfolk, vampires, dinosaurs, and pirates. This is a standard set which may be a standalone adventure or tie into a new overarching plot for Magic the Gathering. There are also likely many reprints and new art coming to Magic the Gathering through secret layers throughout the year. And, though it isn't a set, it's also worth mentioning that there will be a set of Doctor Who Commander Preconstructed decks and Secret Layers released this year as part of the Universes Beyond series. These will only be legal in Eternal formats, similar to the Warhammer 40k decks released in 2022. The release dates aren't yet known for the Doctor Who products, but they're expected to be available before the end of the year. Hopefully this video was a helpful primer to the sets coming out in 2023. Thank you so much for watching!